Sometimes you need to take some stuff with you when you ride. Yeah. To be prepared, of course. Yeah. You've got super lightweight or carrying loads of stuff. Yeah, we'll tell you how we do it and basically how you carry all the stuff you need to get you out of a problem if you're going for a big ride. Start with the basics. If I'm going for my normal type of ride, it's kind of enduro-y in my local woods, I'm never going far from the car. I'm just sort of sessioning down all tracks and basically I'll take nothing except for my phone and maybe a drink of water. However, if I'm going a bit further afield and it's maybe more than half an hour walk to the car, if something goes wrong with my bike, then I'll definitely think about taking a multi-tool. Now, of course, you could carry that in your pockets, but I don't really like doing that. It feels dangerous to me. So let's think of somewhere better to put this. If you like me, you can put this in your bottle cage, just like that. It's off your body. It's not gonna dig into your, into your arteries when you crash. So that's my Topic uh, Ninja bottle cage with multi-tool carrier. Simple, easy, but yet effective. Scary. Uh, another good lightweight option, I've been using one of these but loads recently, is one of these straps. So you can strap a, a tube, a CO2 canister, also got some tubeless plugs in there. Obviously you need something to pump up the tube if you get a problem. And these simply strap to your frame. So I use this a lot for racing, cross, uh, racing enduro, should I say, and on my cross country bike, so I just leave them strapped to it full time. This is my uh, ass bag, fanny pack. I think that's too lightweight. I think I need to carry a lot more. So, this Camelback fanny pack carries 1.5 litres of water, plus I've got a bottle on my bike if I need it, if I'm going for a longer ride, and I can carry an abundance of snacks, just like this, more multi-tools, inner tube, and a bigger pump for more volume. Ah. Another good way of carrying your stuff on the bike rather than on your body is a saddlebag. So in there you can fit a tube, a multi-tool, uh, some tyre levers. This is probably better suited to cross-country riding where you're not using a dropper seat post. They just don't work very well if you're putting the seat up and down. Uh, I quite often will use one of those and then a pump mounted on the side of my bottle cage like I used for that solstice ride last year. Now, again, if you're going for an epic ride that is too light, what about a big backpack just like this? You can carry a lot more water as well as on your bike. There's three liters of water in here and there is so much room. You can even fit a French stick in there. Plus lots of stuff. You got kit here, more snacks, more snacks, tools, inner tube and a bigger pump. Oh wait, and more snacks. Loves the snacks. Now, what if you want to go on a massive adventure, Neil? You need to carry a lot of stuff. Well, we went bikepacking last year around the Gower, mm -hmm. so we were carrying tents, yep. spares, loads of food, a uh, sleeping bag, and clothes on the bike, weren't we? Yes. Yes, so we had a tent on the front. Yeah. Mid-loader, full of food. Loads of food. Loads of food. Loads of snacks. <laughs> and we had a rear tail loader as well. In mine, I had a sleeping bag and all my clothes. Yeah. And I didn't actually wear a backpack for that. No, I carried a backpack, but I was carrying more camera equipment and all that jazz, so. Yeah. I think it's good when you're doing big days, if you're going on a super big adventure, further than that, more than two days, to mm. have everything on the bike is really nice. It makes the bike feel super stable, yeah. but obviously not having something on your back is much more comfy. Yeah, you did it in Iceland. I did it around the Isle of Wight, Gower. We need to do, we need to do another one. We do. And now I think there's two different types of people. I like to be super minimalistic. You like to carry. I like to carry every single thing in the world. Snacks. Even the kitchen sink is in the back there. Snacks and kitchen sinks. Mm. Uh, so if you want to see a video where I said recently about things you don't need to take, oh. click over there for that one. I might actually want to watch that one. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the globe to subscribe because you're missing out on some rad stuff. Over there for the bike packing video from last year. Yeah, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.